Hello and welcome, Aquarister here, coming to you with another video, and today I'm going to be taking you on a trip through my skinning route for armadillos and rabbits. Now, the main focus is the armadillos on this run, but the rabbits are kind of a bonus. Um, this is a really good way to actually make some pretty decent money um, with pretty minimal effort put into it, uh, but you can also use it for cooking as well. So if you are looking to farm up for cooking, um, you can definitely go this route of giving, getting armadillos. Um, or if you're like me, uh, we will farm the armadillos and sell the armadillo meat and then keep the rabbit meat for ourselves for cooking 40 con food. Um, but let's hop into it and I will uh, show the route and we'll get going on it. All right, so looking at the map here, uh, you can see that we actually are starting at the crossroads shrine this is in shattered mountain technically um, but we will be farming primarily in brimstone with a little bit in shattered uh, now a lot of people do know this shrine because of the wall elite runs so it's the same shrine as the wall elite run and then you're actually going to follow a very similar route uh, now, I normally will start farming this area here in Shattered Mountain because, believe it or not, you actually can get armadillos in Shattered Mountain um, on the border here with Brimstone. So, uh, we're going to start up over here in Shattered, work our way down to the wall, actually, cut across to the road, go down, go up, hit this area up here just north, and then hit the area south of there, and then we'll loop back. Um, so that's kind of how it looks on the map. It's a pretty small area that you're going to be farming um, But I'm gonna take you on the route here and kind of show you the main hot spots for where they spawn because uh, Although they do spawn in the area here There are actually about four different spots for the armadillos four or five different spots um, That we're going to go pinpoint specifically and then um, we'll go clear the area I'll show the map and then you'll have a good idea of where to go each time so let's get going on the route here and get started with it. Before we get started here, I do want to go over my gear really quick, just so you can kind of see what I'm running and kind of see the outcome of the gear that I have. Um, so I do have pretty much a full Skinner fit. Um, they're not all capped at 5%, but it's all up at least 4.9%. Um, so we do have the full skinning fit and then I do have some boots that happen to have skinning on them which I wear and then uh, I do need to get a better amulet obviously but we do have an amulet as well with the 8.4% luck and then um, currently I'm using a purple knife with luck on it because it has luck skinning yield and alacrity um, I do have my legendary but it doesn't have the luck on it so ideally I'm going to work towards getting a luck fire alignment uh skinning knife but for now i'm using the luck purple one that i have just so i can at least guarantee uh, that my luck is as high as i can get it for now and then i also have two basic skinning trophies and a major skinning trophy so a lot of people are going to have the three majors they might have you know the full five percent on all of their gear um, so ideally you should be pulling even more uh, armadillo and rabbit meat than I will be pulling. Um, but yeah, so that is the gear that I'm running. So again, you want to try to run as much of the skinning look as possible before you get going. And then for the attributes, you want to make sure you're hitting at least 250 decks because you do get an increase to yield when skinning. Um, as well as some skinning speed and then reduced uh, weight and stuff. So it actually is really, really nice to have your decks up when you are out doing this. So I do recommend, obviously you can see my attributes are all over the place because I kind of have some random gear on, but the main thing is get that 250 decks. Um, that is what you need for skinning. So let's get going then and start looking at uh, where we're going to be heading for the armadillos and rabbits. All right, so leaving the shrine, we are going to start heading towards wall here and off to the right is going to be our first stop. Um, so it makes it really easy that you can actually just leave directly from the shrine there because um, it's really not too far. Now, we're not going to stop for every single rabbit along the way. The primary thing with this video is I want to show you where the armadillo spawns are. But as you can see, there's already a lot of rabbits in the area. Um, so for rabbits alone, this area is not bad. So do keep this in mind when the rabbit event is coming up. They did announce that they will be bringing back the rabbit event. We just don't know for sure how it's going to be different. But we are arriving at our first spot for the armadillos. So 
as you can see, there's about five or more armadillos per spawn. And with the musket, it makes it really easy for us to just clear out the area. Whoops. And if they're running like that, you don't have to worry about uh, them rolling up into the balls. So with the shooter stance, you can get five of the armadillos. There we go. We got armadillo meat right away. Um, for your reference, this is the first spot. And then we'll keep moving here. And again, I don't have the absolute capped out most luck right now. Um, so for those of you running more luck, you will probably get even more meat. And it does seem like the armadillo meat is just kind of hit or miss. Um, I do tend to pull more rabbit meat, but it could just be the RNG of it. You never know. But let's keep moving. I'm not going to stop for everything. Um, again, there are rabbits along the way here. And normally, uh, if I'm not doing a video, uh, I will be going and getting all these rabbits as well. So now you can see we have more popping up here to our left. So we'll come over here. Get as many as we can see from a distance and then we can move up. And we'll clear out this area and then I will show the map again. Tough one. All right, this is the next area right here. And again, in this area, there's only about five or six spawns. There's not normally too many, but a decent amount of armadillos still. All right, so we're gonna grab these. And then on to the next area. All right, so now that we've grabbed all of those, this is where wall starts for the elite chest run. And as you can see, we are surrounded by rabbits here. Now, I'm not going to run around and get all the rabbits. There are a ton of rabbits uh, in this area. So normally, again, I would run around and, and get all the rabbits as well because you will get a bunch of sumptuous rabbit meat. Um, but for the video, we are going to keep moving here. All right, so we'll grab a couple just along the way. Why not? See, there's some rabbit meat. Okay, so once we've farmed those kind of two spots, we're actually going to cut across here. So we're going to cut across. Um, you can stop for these two, these two chests if you want. But for today, we're going to keep moving. Now, once we cut across here, we're going to go to the right. And immediately, you can see armadillos all over. We're going to just line them up. Try to take out as many as we can from here. But the shooter stance took us too low there. And see, they're way out there even. And it's nice to be able to get them from a distance. Because if you get too close, they start rolling around, and then it becomes more of a pain. So if you can get them before they start rolling, you just can take care of them a little bit quicker. Oh, the other thing too is I don't have my skinning food going. That is the one thing that I did forget to add. We're going to take that. That was the skinning one, right? Yes. I totally forgot to take the skinning food, but the skinning food is the other uh, important part of this. So now that we have that going, um, now we're at the max for what I currently have. Now I will be getting the major trophies going at some point. Um, I don't do this a whole lot, but when I do, it's nice to have a route that I know um, I can get quite a few armadillos and rabbits. Um, now again, still RNG, never know what you're going to get even with all the luck but i would say the last time i was here 
farmed up probably 20 armadillo and 10 sumptuous rabbit within a half hour um yeah probably within about a half hour maybe a little bit longer just when i was trying to figure out where to go um but now that we know the route we can actually come through here pretty quickly and you can see just all these armadillos up here i don't even think i got them all yeah look at them all up here though see there's tons of them All right, so we're gonna get all these. And the funny thing is, is I don't really see many people out here at all farming. Um, now again, for the rabbit event, you might see a lot more people out here just because of the rabbits, but outside of that, uh, it doesn't seem like it's too busy over here. So let's get all these as many as we can before we head over to the other side there good aim practice too for musket <laughs> all right there's still one or two around here that we missed but there's quite a few in this area uh let's keep this moving though go the last area here and then kind of what we do after that so we'll grab this on the way, get our alacrity. So this is the area right here that we're in right now. And literally all you have to do is just cross the road and there's like a rubble pile over here that we're gonna go to and there's a bunch over here. So you have this side of the road and this side of the road full of armadillos. The strange thing is, is when you cross over past wall, there's no rabbits. There's no rabbits over here. So if you're after rabbits, you want to be on the other side of the wall. If you're after armadillos and rabbits, then alternate. Or you could just stay on one side, I suppose, as well. But there's a lot of armadillos over here. And again, we're just doing a pretty... Pretty quick deal here. And don't forget to use your free ammo for this. You don't need to use your Ori ammo. <laughs> I had to make sure that I removed mine prior to starting this. As you can see, it's kind of a pain to uh, get them while they're rolling just because you end up having to shoot them twice. We're not getting a ton of meat on this, but normally we would be taking the time to do all the rabbits and stuff, and the rabbits kind of make up for the loss of armadillo meat sometimes. Uh, there, all right. All right, so we're gonna clear out this area. There's not quite as many over on this side of the road, but it's more armadillos. So now that we have finished this up, now we are going to head back to the start of the route. All right, so now we did this side over here, we did that side over there, and we did the two spots leading up. Now what we're going to do is we are going to run back to where we started. And again, when we're farming rabbits and stuff, we'll be farming rabbits along the way on the way back. Um, so a lot of times I'll farm whatever rabbits I can on the way, you know, getting the armadillos. But a lot of the rabbit farming that I do is on the way back. And so all the rabbits that are kind of along the way here, we can just farm. And I'll show you though, when we get back to the start of our route, um, all the armadillos will have reset. And so with this route, you actually are able to go on a continuous loop of constantly skinning stuff. Now, again, I'm not doing the rabbits right now, but ideally you'd be skinning the rabbits. You'd be doing the armadillos and all that. See, the armadillos already respawn in this closer spot, which you could farm this first. But I want to show you how easy it really is because again, it's not too much running with decks. You don't need hardy. 
Um, you can just keep rolling like this. If you have the haste on your musket, uh, then that also helps a lot. So there's things like that that you can do to make this really quick and easy. Um, but let's see right up here. Just like that. So see, all the armadillos are here again. Right, let's do a really quick overview of the various spots that we try to hit for the route. Starting at the Crossroads Shrine, we then hit this area over here with a patch of armadillos. Keep heading south, and then there's kind of a little hill or a little ridge here. There's going to be about five or six more armadillo spawns here. After that, you cross underneath the wall, and you do the top and lower part in between wall and these structures here. And there's a lot of armadillos there. Once you've finished, you loop back up. And all the armadillos will have respawned. So it is a continuous loop starting at Crossroads Shrine. Kind of following the northern side here of the road. Go down, cut across, go up and down, and then go back. And this is going to be a continuous loop for you. Um, really, really nice, especially if no one else is farming it. But even if they are, there's plenty of spots to be able to get the loot. All right, that is going to do it for this one. So thank you a lot for watching. Um, I do really appreciate it. I hope this video really helps you out. If it did, please drop it a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content. It really does help out the channel quite a bit when you guys do that, and I really do appreciate it. Um, you know, this has been the type of resource that a lot of people don't go out and farm, but with this route, um, it makes a really big difference because uh, it's something that I didn't want to go out and farm, and now not necessarily that I want to go out and farm a lot of it, um, but it is nice when you're able to go out and find an area that you can continuously keep running and not have to just always be sitting and waiting for respawns. That's what gets me is sitting and waiting for respawns. So with this route, it allows you to do a continuous loop. If other people are out farming it, there are multiple spots that you can go and hit. There's rabbits to go and get. There's a lot of uh, resources and various animals out here for you. So definitely a good area and a good route to run. And I have been running it more and enjoying it. Um, but like I said, I hope this video helped you out, um, but that is going to do it for this one. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.